Coalition MPs have called on the state government to fast-track Adani's controversial coal mine so that the project can create much-needed jobs. The company has backed that call after it received its final environmental approval. The state government's green light brings the proposed $16.5 billion mega mine closer to reality. But there are 140 conditions, a mining lease to be granted and legal challenges from an Indigenous group and the Australian Conservation Council. In a statement, Adani has pushed for a quick outcome. It is now critical that the state government works actively with us and ensures no further delays. Queensland Coalition MPs backed the call, pointing to a jobs crisis in North Queensland. The more delays we have on this, uh, the, more, the more we're getting a signal to the world uh, that we are not open for business and we want to be a government that's open for business. This project can go ahead, it can create thousands of jobs, but what we need is a state government to actually fast track the mining lease on this, get it done, it can be issued today and we can get these jobs created. Green Senator Larissa Waters says it's a short-sighted decision that puts sustainable jobs like tourism at risk. It would be an absolute abomination. I think Queensland Labor would look exactly like the Newman government if they fast-tracked this mining lease. The Australian Conservation Council hasn't ruled out further legal challenges from green groups. We'll have to wait to see if the Queensland government have done the right thing and have obeyed the law. Queensland Labor campaigned heavily on the environment but also promised jobs. We have been clear that uh, people's uh, objection rights uh, need to be uh, uh, maintained and, and certainly people need to be heard but uh, we also don't want to see people um, having their uh, say in such a way that it is a significant delay to the project. Adani is still to prove its finances to the state, creating speculation over whether the declining coal market may have the final say. Cathy McLeish, ABC News.